Hi, Nipsey. Hi, Paris. Hi, pretty girl. Mama's home. How are you? How are you? Oh, Nipsey's happy to see me. Are you happy to see me? Nipsey. Hi, pretty. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Have you been a good dogs today? Have you been a good girl? She's so cute. Hi, I'm Sherry Hardman. This is Heavy Petting. Today's guest is my dog, Paris. Yeah. And as most of you or a lot of you know, Paris was missing for six days and we finally got her back. So I wanted to tell the story about what happened and um, share some tips and stuff that I know. So apparently what happened, it was a Saturday night. I was out with a girlfriend. I stepped, stopped at home to get something, came in the front door, went out the garage door, apparently let the dog out, but I wasn't aware that she had gotten out. So we didn't even notice till the next morning that she was gone. And um, we were panicked because Paris is 17 years old. She uh, is mostly deaf and um, never has done anything like this. And I've never microchipped her or had a collar for her, which now I know is wrong. And the reason I never did is because she's just an old lady lap dog. I mean, she just sits at my feet and follows me from room to room, steps outside to pee, steps right back in. That's all she does. So it never occurred to me. Like, I mean, of course I thought about it, but I thought she doesn't need one because she's always with me. So lesson learned there. Microchip your dog no matter what. Um, and have a caller with their name and a phone number. So we put signs out all up and down the street. Um, I contacted all of the missing pet groups on Facebook, the shelters. We went to the, turns out that in this area, if animal control picks them up, they take them to Tacoma. So we went to Tacoma. We called, there was a lovely lady named Anita on Federal Way Missing Pets or something. And that's kind of her hobby is that she helps people who are looking for their pets. And so she was driving by and uh, looking and checking the signs and stuff like this. And, um, was super helpful. And she put me in touch um, with this guy. Hang on a minute. I'm going to go get his name. It's right over here. Oh, now you're going to see how messy it is behind me, probably. I just want to make sure. His name is Harry Oaks. Harry Oaks. O-A-K-E-S. I will share his info later. And he has a rescue dog. And they search for lost pets and lost people. So he came up with his dog. He, like, we called him, and he came up, like, that night. And he lives in Longview, I think it is. And so it was a little trek for him to come up here. It wasn't cheap, but it was well worth every penny. They they uh, had We had a harness that only Paris... They wanted something that only had Paris' smell on it. And that was the only thing, because... The dogs share everything here. We have two dogs. So they put the dog sniff the harness and then they just followed the trail. And they say that first of all, dogs always run into the direction of the wind blowing. So if you ever lose your dog, find out which way the wind's blowing, go that way. And uh, long story short, followed it down to the end of this road. And right in the middle of the road, the track was gone, which usually means someone picked the dog up. Well, then what was what? A couple days later, a lady called and said, we see your dog running down the street. There's two girls in pajamas running after her. So that leads me to believe that somebody had the dog in their house and it got out. And they were following her. So thank God they were taking care of her. Now she came home. She's lost a couple pounds. But she was getting kind of chunky anyway. Maybe I'll try the runaway diet myself. Um, and she was really uh, 
Uh, we were so happy to have her. She was a little leery of us at first and just ravenously hungry. But she's back to herself. Um, and we're a very happy family because I knew I was going to be a... I would have been... Like, I know she's 17. I know I'm getting ready sometime within the next few years to lose her. So I've kind of been preparing myself. But... The thought of her being outside, like in the cold, shivering, and not knowing where I was, it was just, it was awful. It really was. And I make fun of people all the time that say their, cat, their pets are their kids. And I'm like, come on, it's just a stupid dog. I mean, but I get it. And I will never say that about anyone again because it was awful. So I'm going to put this guy, Harry Oaks, I'm going to put his... Um, Info. He has a website with tons of information. Hopefully, none of you will ever lose your pet. But if you do, you can get a hold of him. He's great. He sounds really um, grumpy on the phone, but he's not at all. He's super nice. He's got a really nice smile. He's a great guy. He checked in with us later, wanted to hear the story. So it wasn't just like a hit it and quit it kind of a deal. So there's the story about Paris. And... Uh, when my husband leaves, I'm going to do the heavy petting story. Um, I just don't want him listening to me, so. <laughs> all right so we're gonna go on the path where paris went when she left our house so we're right in front of our house they said that she would walk towards the direction of the wind so that's the way we're going we are headed northwest the next door neighbor's house so this is the house where she went first, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So he, the dog tracked her up to where? Yeah. The dog tracked her to their, to right under their steps, because they their steps are hollow and you can get underneath there. So I think okay. she. So like right there. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then did the dog stay on this side of the sidewalk? Well, actually, the dog went down the other street. And then came out. And the cul-de-sac. And then came out at the park up, up the street here. So she actually was. Went that way. She was actually over on the other side of that cul-de-sac there. Okay. And then she came back out at the park, which is right up here. You don't have your seatbelt on. Pull over for a second because there's a car behind us anyway. Okay, so here's the park. So she went to the park. Don't show me though because I'm really open. And then she came down this way. Yeah, it appears that she probably was. She was probably on the other side of the street. Over there. Yeah, and. Uh, but she went down this way, and in the up ahead, you can see a, a roundy round. So when I was putting up signs, I where I, the place I stopped putting up signs is right here at this at this stop or this yield sign. This is where I stopped putting up signs, okay. and then right in the middle of the road, directly ahead of me, in the middle of the road is where the trail ended for Paris. So they figure someone picked her up right here. So he told me he thinks she got picked up right here, and he told me to put signs on that right there, and that's what I did. Okay, but then when you ended up finding her... Straight ahead. Now this is an 18-year-old or 17-year-old chihuahua that walked this far. God, we're not so even she probably got picked up there. And we think somebody took her home. Am I going straight up? 
Yep, just keep going, following this road straight up. Yeah, somebody had to pick her up so, and brought her to one yeah, of these Yeah, the trail houses. got lost, but then when we got called, she was way up here. Keep going. Keep on going. And then I didn't have my phone with me, and so I got to this stop sign, and this is where I was told she was at, was right here, and there was nobody here. And I didn't know which way to go. So thankfully, I picked going straight, so please go straight ahead. Oh, this is a nicer neighborhood. She just liked their houses better out I here. guess so. <laughs> and I came around the corner right here, and then I'm still wondering, where is she, where is she? And then right down this street right here, I see, I stopped and pulled over right here where this car is. Mm -hmm. And I could see in the street, two little girls were chasing a dog, and a lady right. in a car was pulled over right here, and she said, are you the owner? And I said, yes, and I went running over, and I kept following her right through this street, yelling her name as loud as I could, because she's deaf, and every time I yelled it, she stopped for a split second, and looked around, and then, then kind of trotted off again, and then right here... I finally caught up to her and I just grabbed her and she bit me. Mm -hmm. She didn't bring blood, but she bit me pretty good on the hand and but then once she got in my arms, she smelled me and realized she was okay. Oh. We should have like tracked how far that was. Wait, now I'm lost already. You gotta go that way. Apparently, Paris is better at this than I am. Look, that has a trunk sticker on his car. Sorry, I missed it. Okay. He kind of looked like he would have a trunk sticker on his car. Okay, now let's talk about heavy petting of the human variety. So, I'm going to share a story with you. Um. I don't know, sometime this year, I ordered one of these sex pillows. And it's like, especially for big people. And it kind of helps you like, you know, when you're a bigger person, like say, um, achieve positions that might be difficult for you to achieve without a pillow. Like, it's always nice to have a pillow. I'm not saying it's just because I'm big. Like a pillow under your butt or a pillow to lean over or whatever. So it's like a big pillow for a big person. And I was all excited. Um, but it came when I wasn't home. And Dave intercepted the delivery. And he said, oh, I, I, got, the, I got the pillow came today. I got it all set up. I was excited. But I want, I'm, I'm going to show you now what he did with it. Now, apparently, I didn't tell him what the pillow was for so I'm gonna pause this for a minute and go to the other room because my house is a mess and I don't want you to see how dirty it is not dirty just messy hang on so do you see that right there that is my sex pillow under on top of some boxes that he then covered with a mat so that the dogs so basically he made a ramp for our old dog to climb up on the bed and sleep with us at night so my idea of bedtime fun and his idea might be two different things but it does help the dog get, get up on the bed funny thing is is that now the joke is on him Cause now he's got to sleep with two crazy What's old going bitches. On she's a big, big girl in a skinny woman's world. Now she's a big, big girl in a skinny woman's world. Now she's a big.